2,000 temples of Bagan were the main reason I wanted to come to Myanmar. And taking in the views from a temple rooftop is an unforgettable experience. But these days, visiting Bagan has changed. Just under a year ago, you could pretty much explore the temples of Bagan freely. There were no gates and you could explore all of the little caverns and chambers. You could just turn up at any of these temples, climb to the roof and you'll get an amazing view of sunrise or sunset. And there's a good chance you'd be the only person there. But unfortunately, times have now changed. The vast majority of temple rooftops are now closed off to tourists, either completely bricked up or gated and locked. But why is this? And are there any rooftops that you can still climb? We spent three days in Bagan to find out. So creepy. <laughs> we arrived in Bagan at 5 a.m. after taking a sleeper bus from Inlay Lake. We took a ride on the back of a bicycle to our hotel. And I can't remember how much we ate the previous day, but he couldn't get us up the hill. Instead of checking into our room, we headed straight out to see the sunrise. The best way to get around Bagan is by e-bike, which gives you the ultimate freedom to get around the temples. And I'm lucky because I've got a driver as well. Yeah, I should charge. You should. So it's just gone 5.30 in the morning. We've arrived in Bagan, but we can't check into our hotel yet. So luckily, Emma has actually been here before and she thinks she remembers where there's a very quiet temple. So I'm gonna go and try and see if we can get there now. This video was filmed at the end of 2018 when there were still some temples with accessible rooftops. But I have no idea if any of these are still open now. So I'm not gonna mention any of them by name. Oh, it's all there. We couldn't find any way up to the roof through the main entrance, so we decided to have a look around the back. <laughs> oh my god, pigeons! Oh my god! So we found some wildlife, but no way up to the roof. So unfortunately, it looks like since Emma was here two years ago, a lot of the temples have now been bricked off and you can't actually climb them to get a view so it'll be interesting to see how many you can still go up maybe none the sun was already getting pretty high in the sky luckily we were intercepted by a couple of local kids who promised to show us a good rooftop in exchange for a little bit of money and fair play to them they pulled through A truly mind-blowing introduction to the beauty of Bagan. Very cool. After the sunrise, we headed off in search of some more viewpoints. There are over 2,000 temples spread across the plains of Bagan, so we were hopeful that we could find a few with rooftop access. At our first stop, we couldn't find any steps up to the roof, so that one was a write-off. The next one looked a lot more promising. We found a stairway in one of the corners of the temple and we headed straight up. But right at the last hurdle was a locked gate. No. Oh. From my research, there seems to be a couple of different reasons as to why access to the temples has been restricted. The first is health and safety. With Bagan getting more and more popular with tourists, the risk of injuries to visitors and damage to the temples is at an all-time high. 
There was also a major earthquake here in 2016, which caused damage to many of the structures. But there is a belief that the local authorities are using this reasoning to control the flow of tourists. Feeling a little bit demoralized, we decided to change tact and head out to some of the more ornate and elaborate temples, which are completely open to the public. One of the best things is that the temples are so spread out that you don't really get a concentration of people in one place, so it's very easy to find yourself alone just with the temples. But still, no more views. And as the temples passed us by one by one, it got more and more frustrating. We just got to a temple which was supposed to be one of the ones that are still open, but there was a guard standing outside that said we weren't allowed in. So even if they're not gated off, they're still sometimes not letting people up. So a local guy just pointed us in this direction, where there's apparently a temple that's still open and you can climb up. But he did say that there's quite a lot of bees inside, which is good. Yep, you heard that right. Bees. Killer bees, apparently. Let's have a look inside. If I get stung to death by bees. Thanks for watching. Bees nest. Yeah, there's a bees nest. Oh. Okay, so we've decided we're not going to risk the killer bees because that nest was pretty big. We'll try somewhere else. So close. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Me and Ma has the cutest kids in the whole world. Fact. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, this is our last chart before the sun goes down. Fingers crossed we can get in here. tried a few staircases which ultimately Here's led to one. nowhere. There's some there? Okay. But then along the side of the temple we saw the wall which looked like its own kind of ruined staircase. So it was time to climb. How is it? Pretty good. Pretty good. Wow. Took us a while, but we made it. Literally every direction you look. Worth it? Worth it. <laughs> Still got to get down, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not gonna be fun. This Buddha is holding its own Buddha. Good morning, it's day two, and today we're gonna to try and find a viewpoint that is much closer to the balloons. This first temple actually had a guard on the door. He just asked to see our archaeological zone passes and then he let us straight in and right up to the roof. It was pretty crowded up there, but the view was very nice. After 
two great views in a row, we were really excited to get going and look for some more rooftops. But day two was just as frustrating as the first. We found just as many gates, locks and no entry signs. But despite that, we still had a lot of fun. Just on an unmarked road, seeing where it goes, exploring every temple we see. This is what Bagan's all about. And the beauty of our surroundings was undeniable. By saying the Bagan temples are unsafe or damaged by tourists and earthquakes, the local authorities can move people away from hard to find temple rooftops and towards some easier options. This is particularly worrying because I'm pretty sure they're just trying to divert tourists away from the free temples and towards the big government owned viewing platform, which if I'm honest, is just a big eyesore on the landscape. If you ask me, it looks like the bloody eye of Sauron. This all fits into a wider narrative there is a feeling that Bagan is becoming more and more of a luxury travel destination with expensive hot air balloon rides and paid for viewpoints. Maybe the tourism board wants to attract more of that luxury crowd. Once again, we were running out of time. There are a couple of viewpoint mounds around which are supposed to be an alternative to climbing a temple to see sunrise or sunset, but Neither of the ones that we've been to so far look that great, to be honest. Just the temples are just that slightly too far away. We were determined to find something better. There's supposed to be a temple this way. And it's a little bit unclear whether they let people up there or not. Bit creepy. As we headed deeper through the tunnels, we really thought this temple could be a winner, but Unfortunately, all of the stairwells were completely bricked up. Doesn't seem to be any way up, but it's still quite cool. So we went back to the Sunset Hill in the end, which is quite a nice view. It just gets very, very busy with tour groups, but better than nothing. This is just a new began experience. You never quite know if you're going to find anywhere. It's our last night in Bagan, so it's our last chance to get a good sunset. We're gonna go and check out some temples by the river and see if any of those are open. So this is option number one and it's gated off. Looks like this one's open. wasn't the most beautiful of the temples in Bagan, but we were just relieved that we found one last spot. Finding open rooftops in Bagan is not the free exploring experience that it used to be. And even since we were there, there have been reports of complete bans on all temples, but also reports that some are still open. So unfortunately, you won't really know what you're gonna find until you get there yourself. We had an incredible time in Bagan, and it really was an unforgettable experience. But if all of the rooftops close, it will be very, very different. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for some more Myanmar videos, head down to the description and there's a playlist waiting there for you. And I'll see you next time.